everybody this is Tyrone back with Tech Life and in today's video I wanted to talk about T-Mobile's earnings that's going to take place August 6th so we've already had Verizon and AT&T's earnings Sprint is no longer around so the next and last earnings call will be T-Mobile's on August 6th this will be the very first earnings call that T-Mobile is going to incorporate Sprint numbers so they are going to report as one if you guys have been on the channel, you guys should know now that as of August 2nd, the unification begins where the Sprint brand will no longer be advertised separately. It will all go under one brand, the T-Mobile brand. Now on the on the earnings August 6th, don't really know how it's going to take place, but I'm sure it'll be an earnings call like we've seen with the Uncarrier where they're all on the Zoom. And we're going to hear the numbers. I don't know if they're going to say these are the Sprint numbers and these are the T-Mobile numbers or if they're just going to announce it all as T-Mobile. We'll find out come August 6th. But what I want to hear from you guys in the comment section, how do you guys think T-Mobile will do? Do you think now that Sprint is a part of the brand with the numbers, do you think the numbers now quarterly are going to look far worse in terms of losses and churn? Or do you think that will eventually settle down as the company gets going with the great deals and values that they do offer? And and just period, I just want to hear from you guys, period. Do you guys think T-Mobile really did that well for the quarter? Or do you think their growth, once again, did slow down largely due to the pandemic? Or do you guys think the, the Uncarry is just over and the momentum has totally stopped now that the now that John is gone? Um, and they've taken on the uh, the Sprint brand now, which the Sprint brand hasn't necessarily been that popular over the years. So maybe a mix of both kind of stopped the momentum. Or do you think T-Mobile will be just fine after the pandemic is over, everything goes to normal? T-Mobile is going to shoot back up and be the big growth story in the industry for the years to come. So that's just what I wanted to make this video on, see you guys' input get some guesstimates from you guys what T-Mobile will do. I'm thinking they're going to do between 7 to 800,000 net ads for the quarter, but I could be far off in the negative or I could be far off with T-Mobile actually doing the 8 to 900,000 that they're predicting for themselves. So once again, let us all know in the comment section down below what you think and what you feel comfortable with with them doing the what what numbers they're going to do for the quarter. But I do want to point out one more thing. In my personal opinion, I think T-Mobile's churn is going to spike naturally. And I'll probably put that in another video, but finding out some very interesting info over the last few days. Um, it has to do with these T-Mobile outages that are ongoing, it seems. Uh, there's like city after city after city, apparently, that is experiencing outages. People have emailed me asking why is this happening? And I'm starting to kind of get an idea of why this is happening. So I'll probably make that in a, in another video and kind of give you guys some some uh, context on, on what's happening at this point in time. So definitely stay tuned for that video. If you have been on the channel, you can go ahead and end the video now. But if you are new, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload the content. Also on your YouTube app, make sure in the settings you enable push notifications so YouTube can push the notifications to your notification. And then also follow my Twitter. I do post videos on there as well. So you have two platforms to push notifications so you are up to date when the videos drop. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.